Welcome to the third CPRT module, which will cover all the information CARB requires regarding formulation data. The data will be entered on the Product Ingredients page and Enter Formula page. Product Ingredients, Enter Formula. The first page to focus on is the Product Ingredients page. All of the formulations being provided by the responsible party must be included on the product ingredients page. The enter formula page can be used to quickly enter and simultaneously verify formulation one at a time. Each formulation saved via the enter formula page will be automatically transferred to the product ingredients page. It is recommended that a responsible party manually fills out at least the first couple of formulations either through the product ingredients or enter formula page to familiarize themselves with the data fields before importing data. Let's start with manually entering in a formulation for hand sanitizer. You can see that the formula name matches what was listed in the formula name in our product list page. Okay, and so if we finish this process, we're going to make up a formula, water, and ethanol. Most basic ingredients will only require a chemical name and a chemical abstract services or CAS number. If the cast number is not attainable, enter in NA. Hydrocarbon solvents will require different information. The trade name should be the name of the solvent. The manufacturer of the solvent must be provided and their contact information must be provided in the solvent manufacturer page. A bin number must be provided. If the bin is not known, enter NA. Solvents may also be given chemical name or cast number information, but it is not mandatory. All right, so for example, if there were a solvent in this product, say, uh, use this one as an example, and we'll say it's been 11. So also important, make sure all ingredients for the formulation add up to 100%. So if we have these three ingredients, it's not adding up. And they should reflect the actual weight percentage in any product you are entering. But this is an example of how we would manually enter in the data on the product ingredients page for a hand sanitizer formula or any other formula. To help correctly provide a formulation for the product ingredients page, the enter formula page can be used. The add formula button located on the product ingredients page will take the responsible party to the enter formula page. As we see here, or the responsible party can click on the enter formula page to access it. So from anywhere in the tool here, we can click this tab and it'll take us to that enter formula page. Enter formula page can be used to enter in formulations one by one, but is not required. Assuming the product list page was filled out first, formula names will be available from the select formula dropdown box. As you can see, we have the option to select hand sanitizer or MM hand lotion, which are the two formula names that we reported in the product list. Select the appropriate formula before filling out the formulation. We will do MM hand lotion as an example. Chemicals may be entered in manually. However, the enter formula page provides an option to select chemicals from a form. You can access that the select chem button. Select the select chem button and a form will pop up with common chemicals. There are three groups a responsible party can choose from. Ingredients, hydrocarbon solvent, and hydrocarbon propellants. So here we have our ingredients. And this is a list of uh, previously reported ingredients from past surveys that are in our database. And then we also have hydrocarbon solvents and hydrocarbon propellants. It should be noted that no special requirements are needed for propellants other than chemical name and cast number. The responsible party can also search for a chemical, uh, search for a chemical by searching by cast number. So that here, so say we wanted to find 
vinyl chloride, and we knew the cast number was 75014. Hit search and select, and the tool will highlight it for us. And then if we want to add it, we would go here and add selected ingredients. Uh, once the appropriate ingredients are selected, we would again click on that add select ingredients button and then fill out weight percentage. So for our MM hand lotion, we're just gonna select these four. We made up formulation and add them. You can see they have been added here. So we'll say 20, 20. 20%, 20%. Uh, we're going to add in a solvent as well. The remaining 20%, we use that same uh, Garage Monkey solvent. And we're going to leave that blank to show uh, some functionality of the tool. So select the Save Record button. And the formulation will either save to the product ingredients page or there will be errors to fix. Errors will be displayed in the error list column to the right and will need to be fixed before attempting to save the formulation again. The enter formula page will also note if the total weight percentage does not add up to 100%. Lastly, the enter formula page will attempt to provide suggested corrections if CARB has any information on the entered ingredient. All suggested corrections may be ignored. You can either accept the change or keep the current information to save into the product ingredients page. The enter formula page will also note an error if the trade name, manufacturer name, or bin is missing for a solvent. So you can see here, uh, the error list we have is all hydrocarbon solvents must have a manufacturer trade name and bin reported. We didn't report a bin. And we will, but we will, we should, we need to. Um, Another uh, error that might encounter on this page is if that weight percentage doesn't add up to 100 and we tried to save, you get that. Please ensure total weight percentage for formula equals 100%, then try again. So we did have it, save the record, and there we go. It is successfully saved to our product ingredients page. Once there are no more errors, the formulation will save. Appear here when we need it. Uh, data may also be imported into the product ingredients page. Instructions on importing will be provided in a later module. Uh, thank you. This concludes our CPRT formulation data module. Thank you.